Okay, good afternoon. Uh, I'm doing some more work on my AC induction motor. Um, I'm using the uh, HPVES uh, AC35 motor as my test. Got rid of the uh, other motor. Um, still have it, it's just not being used right now. And I've got Putty Up. Um, I am using a MacBook Pro with the uh, with a Windows environment on it, and everything works just fine. Um, this setup that I have, the way I have everything set up, I do need to use Putty to start it in Start One mode. If I'm in the web interface on my Mac, and I change the parameter to one, which I can do, it doesn't automatically start the inverter, so it doesn't work. <clears throat> I don't have a key switch. Um, just the way I have everything set up, it, it requires that, but that way I can still use my throttle um, to, to test. So that's the deal with that. I can change parameters, I can uh, upload firmware, all that stuff on the other setup, but just to get it to run, I have to use this. And, um, and so I am just going to continue using Putty if I need to make any changes of parameters. Um, I'll save the parameters and I'll do so using the uh, web interface because it's easier. I can make a, a screenshot of that and um, a little easier than using the Putty and trying to get a screenshot of that. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you here a little bit. Um, for my 12 volt power for powering the inverter I am using a mega pack with a bunch of different modules in it and what I have done is I've taken um, 12 volt module here, and that's at uh, 8.3 amps. Um, I can do 5.2, I've stacked them up, so I've got 10.4 10 volts here off of this double set here. Uh, I've just got straight 5 amps at 5 volts at 40 amps, uh, another 12 volt, all that. So that's what I'm using as my uh, power source, my, my bench power. Um, I am using a throttle like so. This one's working. Um, and the rat's nest of the little ribbon wires, which is going to be dealt with here soon. Um, got the uh, main cables to the IGBT modules. Never mind the mess, it's been messy back here for quite a long time. Um, main controller board, everything's working. I've upgraded the firmware, all that. Sensors, I got the old set of sensors. I really hate them, uh, so I need to get a new set. Um, these are some different throttle pots that I have just laying around. Um, these are my two 12-volt uh, battery, lithium batteries that I'm using um, in series to uh, get up to 24 volts here. And so this is the uh, HP EVS um, 35. And, and it's... Uh, actually working quite well. I have the adapter plate on it for the Volkswagen. So here's where the flywheel would connect. And I can show you that temporary here. Let me set this up here just to kind of show you what it would look like. So this is a Eight point four pound flywheel 
that's been specially cut and rounded off um, for electric motors. And so this, I'm just going to find the pins. It's an 8 pin on the flywheel, but I have only 4 pins on the, um, on the motor adapter. So we're just going to be stuck with 4 pins. They are long pins, so everything holds really well. Uh, they're not just little dinky pins. Pins go all the way through. And that's how that would go. And there's a big, a big nut that, that fits right, at, right in the middle hole here. And then this will just bolt on, get my uh, pressure plate, and everything will bolt right on the outside of the flywheel, and we'll be good to go. So the thing is, is does it run? Uh, yes, it does. I am using um, 3.3 volts to the encoder. I'm just going to lower this down a little bit here, get the camera right on everything. Got mosquitoes out here like crazy. Got done with our little uh, fun thing with the Orville Dam. Um, I'm sure you've probably heard it in the news, and we are all okay. Everything is good, and um, we are getting back to normal. We're still keeping an eye on everything. Uh, we still have uh, bug out stuff ready to go if necessary. So anyway, um, I've got everything. Got the inverter started, and so. I'm going to show you what this does. I have the uh, amp, amp min at 100, and um, and so we're gonna we're gonna give this a, a little spin up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my throttle here, spin it up. You'll see it jump a little bit. It is strapped down to the table. It's not going to go anywhere, but it does move around a little bit. I do believe that it's going into field weakening mode on why it ramps up and spins at such a high RPM with 24 volts, but it is no load. And so as soon as it hits. So Johannes told me maybe I should uh, capture 5 volts and put it on the um, encoder and see if that changes anything. And um, so he, he told me to take it off the sensor, off of this little guy here, but because of the fine little pins and all that stuff, there really isn't a thrilling way to do this. but. Maybe I'll figure something out. I've got it zip tied so it doesn't all fall apart. Um, so maybe I'll work on that and see if I can get a difference. But at the moment, that's where that's at. And the encoder, which I dug around and figured out, um, figured out what's what. Um, so then I can hook my wires up correctly. So let's see if messing with that changed anything. And here the motor. Here, let's just go ahead and put that on the motor and not on the floor there. 
So, that's where we have. So what I'm hoping for, uh, let's see here if I can spin this uh, camera around here. It's not gonna let me flip it. It's gonna let me take a picture though. Anyway, I'm going to stop this for just a second. Okay, another thought is I have a really fast internet out here. Um, a lot of fast internet. And I was thinking of getting my chair and getting things set up and come out here and do live feeds. And I can do live feeds um, through uh, YouTube. And if anybody is interested in that, um, you know, and I'm way open for suggestions. And if I can do a live feed, we can do stuff in real time here and test it and see what happens um, and all that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can snag up some uh, 5 volts and hook this thing up to 5 volts and see if that changes anything on how it behaves um, haven't gone as far as putting a key switch in or any of that uh, maybe I should consider doing that um, so I can use the uh, web interface and get the graphs and all that kind of stuff, which is something that I was hoping to do. Um, unless there's a way they can just turn that on and off, you know, just like it does in putty, just real quick. And, and it doesn't seem like that would be too difficult, but then again, I'm not a programmer, so um, I'm sucking up all your guys' work that you've done and applying it to this and learning a few things along the way, but still, I am not a coder or any of that. So, anyway, just wanted to see what you guys think. So, uh, go ahead and respond when I get this video up, and we'll uh, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Okay, back again real quick. So... And it started inverter and I started it and then it gave me an encoder warning which I've never seen before so I'm not sure what that is I haven't changed anything yet um, it does start a little bit differently um, so you're gonna hear it Where the heck is that? There it is. Well, anyway, now it's not doing it. But I did get the warning. I did get the warning, so I'm not sure. what that is, so we'll talk about it.